with Hip Hop Weekly and today I'm sitting down with the cast from the stage play In Laws From Hell. Yeah. From yeah. LA. <laughs> hey. Okay, so from the left we got Tony Grant. That's right. Miss Juicy Baby. Hi. Sha Santiago. Hi. Vanessa Jackson. <laughs> and David Tolliver. What up? Yeah. So how are you guys doing today? Great. 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 So first things yes. first, tell me about your characters and what attracted you to the role. Ladies. Uh, ladies or gentlemen? Ladies? Okay, well, I'll go. So, <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> go, Jesus. <laughs> but since I am the queen, I will okay. start first. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Tiffany in a play. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so beautiful, as always. You know, I bring the class. I bring the ghetto. <laughs> I bring the loud. Just like I am. Oh my God, am I talking about myself? <laughs> but you know, I have my girls back, and um, my girl is actually one of the main characters in the play. But I have her back, and I go through the fire with her. I I make sure nothing happens negative. So I'm loud. I'm bringing the spice, the energy, and everything. So, um, but I'm ready to party and turn up whenever it's time. Turn up. But I get those hands on you if you turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. All right, so um, okay, you're the next one. Well, I am <laughs> unique in the play, and I'm the cool head. I try to keep everybody calm, and um, I'm friends with Missy also. We all went to college together, so we all have her back. We all are very interested and invested in what is going on in her life. So Okay. Okay. I'm going to go, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I play Stefan in the play, and it's like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Well, well, I play Stefan, okay? <laughs> and Stefan's the really sassy hairdresser, so it's a lot of attitude, it's like, you know, really arrogant, and everybody know, you know, I'm the shit. Can I say that? Oh, hey, go ahead, yeah, okay, you can. Yeah. You can. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just a really sassy character, and saying, you know, me, basically, I'm sassy, you know, I'm like, and wasn't that funny thing? <laughs> uh, my name is Dave. Uh, I think we said that already. Uh, in the play, I play Jasper, and I play his best friend in the play. Um, I'm funny. I'm, I'm fat. I'm free. I'm exciting. Um, okay. I'm 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 really like a, a jokester, but in in the reality of it all, I have his back through everything. Uh, I'm the voice of reason. Uh, I'm trying to get him to think right, do right. And I'm still out here clowning, but you know, in, in the end of it all, I'm like, dude, go ahead, man. You know, he's still working on me, but you made it. You got it. Nice. Do your thing. Okay. And I'm Tony Grant. I play the character of Joaquin. Joaquin is the kind of is the guy that keeps the story along. He's kind of a mama's boy that um, has kind of got some issues, like all young men do. You know, made some past mistakes, and now that you're getting to that place where you're ready to settle down and make that one woman the number one. Seems like the past come back to haunt you. Man. And then also, I'm dealing with uh, the title of the play, In Laws from Hell. Yes. So you got to make sure before you get married to understand that you ain't just marrying the girl, you marrying the man. Well. So we got that girl. Yeah, that so that long brings long. me to my next question. In your personal lives, have you any of you guys actually uh, dealt with in laws from hell? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that and how you put it in a play. Anybody could start. Actually, we start no, with you, Tony. I, I've never. I've, I've been blessed. I, I truly have. I mean, I, you know, like, our families all go through something, but I've been blessed to not have the crazy in laws from hell. Um, I, and you know what? I wouldn't have it though. I'll be honest with you, because I'm that type of guy that I'm going to shut that down. So, for me, I've, 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 I've never had the in-laws from hell, but uh, I had some other adjectives you want to put in front of it to describe them, but uh, no, nah, but you know, I, I, honestly, I've been lucky. Uh, you know, most of the time, a lot of people are like, I can't stand my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is actually cool. She actually cool, man. You know, she's a jokester. She cool. She cook. <laughs> she cook. Party time, huh? Yeah, man. I've been blessed also. Oh, oh thank wow. you. To have a great... Oh, good one. Yeah, they're good. great. They're great. I have to say that. No. Okay. We love I've been, blessed. I've been blessed to go through it and 
survive it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I did starting out, I was married for 15 years. So I, I did know. have the in-laws from hell, but I was able to get the word. By the end of, um, mm-hmm. close towards the end, I mean, I won them over. So, um, but at first it, it was a living hell because mm-hmm. I did marry a mama's boy. I did mm-hmm. marry someone that happened. The umbilical cord wasn't cut. My God. So, <laughs> yes, the mother-in-law was in every aspect of our life. My Lord. Okay. So, it, <laughs> it, yes. I, I, this play is, woo, hallelujah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I recognize the play because it, you got to stay prayed up, first of all, yeah. when you're going through something like that. But like I said, I Keep eventually want to move over because I have the charm that I can. You either going to deal with me or you're not because, hey, we're going to be together. That's how So, what advice would you give to a man or a woman right now dealing with something like that? Pray. Yeah, nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> take, take, be a man. Stand I mean, up. if it's a man, yeah, mm-hmm. if you're the man of the house, be a man. Or, or let's take it even a step further. Let's take it a step further that this is the person you're thinking about marrying. Mm-hmm. If mama and daddy is already up in the middle of it, then you just you already know yeah. red flag. what's going to happen. Yeah. Red flag diary. Shut it down. I mean, I know before I got married, my mother-in-law, that was the first and only time she stepped to me before we got married. But yeah, she stepped to me and I just checked. This was like, I love you. I mean this with the utmost respect. I love you to death, but I don't compromise me for nobody. If right. you can't My deal dear. with me, it's you that's going to be hurt, not me. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I remember that was, I'm sorry, I remember that was one of the first things that the pastor, you know, because we went through the little counseling thing or whatever, and, and it didn't work, but I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> they would say, if you if you let your in-laws interfere into your relationship, it will tear everything oh, yeah, apart. I mean, because it's an allegiance, you know how the core is like, the core, then it's God, then it's this, but I'm saying it goes God, spouse, kids, then everybody else. Exactly. Everybody else is a non-factor. That's right. You did. Exactly. But that person <laughs> on the other side, even though he was the man of the household, um, he was also the firstborn. So he was his mama's first child mm-hmm. and he was a boy. Me too. And he did not know how um, to let that go. And so, but once he learned that uh, they're not going to run his household, uh-huh. uh, I wouldn't even have that. So, um, <laughs> You know, then it, it eats up. It eats up. But. From the sound of it, I feel like Juicy probably more like your character. So, based on all you guys' character, who resembles their character the most out of the entire cast? I mean, I think yeah. me. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, know what's wrong? I don't have an attitude. I don't really have one. No, no, no. My character is really, really me. When I got the script, I was like, oh, I wanted to do it so bad because it literally is like my personality on the way. It's like a little more over the top. I'm gonna say personality wise. Personality wise, this this guy is a yeah. He's a lot like me verbally. No, he's not. He's not like me. Uh, but personality wise, yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm definitely a mama's boy. But my mom will talk. My mom raised me. Like a dude. Right. Like, look, boy. Look, okay? <laughs> you want your name broke? You want this to happen? Leave it to a woman. I'm a woman first. So I'm going to tell you the real. And she did. She didn't keep anything from us. So it got me in a place, in a direction of, okay, look, this is how this going to go. If, if you don't want to roll, then it's, God bless you. Heaven's my own. Um, That's right. But That's we'll that keep it school. moving. We'll keep it moving, and we'll be cool. But this guy, this character, Joaquin, is, he's torn. You know, and I get it. He's he's torn between mama and the girl that he wants to marry, but the boy's wounded. He's mm-hmm. wounded from past <laughs> issues. So he brings some of that, his decisions from being wounded into the relationship that he has with his current girl, which happens with a lot of us yeah. as so human true. beings and people trying to move forward in this world. We've been hurt, so we try to smother it with something I'm else pulling on something else yeah all the time fixing it yeah pass the grant come on okay you got to preach on and I honestly you know the crazy thing about being in these productions man I don't know if it's because how I look I'm typecast but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot but I mean, these are Either, either look, I'm either the pastor, which everybody wants me to pray all the time, and I'm the wildest probably dude in here. Um, they they want me to be the 
thug. They want me to be uh, the father, the grandfather, something like that, or you know, the guy. The, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I'm in this play, my parts are funny. We, it, it, where it is now, it wasn't where it was when we started. And I think, you know, because I'm goofy and I'm crazy, and I, I just, I just like good vibes, man. You know, every time, maybe mm-hmm. every time. And uh, I think it just kind of pushed into, it. and then when they see how me and him click together, it just kind of worked out. I think. You know what exactly. I mean? Am I, do I stand correct? Stand correct. You, you, you that about. brings me to my next question. So after you guys read the script, is there anything that you immediately want to change or? No, I, I honestly think um, the writer. Adriana Williams mm-hmm. did an amazing, the yeah. Okay. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> an amazing job but more than doing an amazing job she spoke about something yeah. that's in everyday life yes whether it's a mother-in-law yeah, yeah. whether it's a friend whether it's a cousin whether it's a whatever it's really a story about forgiveness and moving on it's and it's really really, really relatable so it's good yeah it's so, relatable to everyone of it's course a good it's a script. funny play, but what can the audience take away that they can apply to their real lives after the play? Stay a good, be, a, be a good friend. Oh, okay. Be a good be friend. A good friend. Okay. Be a good yeah. listener. Try to get good advice. Don't step in too much, but just yeah. be there. The character that I'm playing, I think the, the writer of the play knew that she wanted me to play this role. Right. That's Miss Adriana Williams, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, and the reason why I say that is because my character talks so much noise and she ready to go with it and call her goons to get them. Hey, come on. Right. We right. better get them in line. You know goons. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For real, don't, don't mess with squad. them. Right. So mm-hmm. anybody mess with you, but I got you. Right. So, you know, and I'm like, hey, this is me all day. This is my boy. Okay. And I got to calm her down. <laughs> keep her out to keep but it's calm. okay. <laughs> hey, but from a male's perspective, what can the male take away as well? Forgiveness. 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 You got to get yourself together before you try to take what you got into somebody else's life and expect them to fix you. That go both ways too, and then I, I, I just say a, a lot of times is we're we're so quick to condemn men, and I think there's two sides to every story. A lot of us weren't taught like I wasn't taught to be a good dad or a good uh, husband or a good man, but at a certain point too, you can't keep walking with that crutch. As a grown man, you got to know, and you know all that stuff wasn't right. Like I'm, I'm not an abuser. I grew up in you know about nah. I said I never wanted to be the men that I grew up around. I wanted to be something different, and that. At every, and every man, even a woman, is like women. Some women are taught to be good mothers or uh, to be good wives. Some people don't. Some some women don't even know what a wife is or is supposed to be. You just see, I had a friend whose mom. We'd be in the basement, and his moms would, would come home with different guys every day. And I'm like, dude, when is it my turn? It's like, so what type of respect is he doing? I have to put some trouble, some serious. So I'm saying, at what point? At what point does this man learn respect for women? If, right. and to this awesome. day, he's 40 some years old and has not a bit of respect right. for, for women. At some point, you have to know what when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run, so to speak, you know, for lack of a better, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that goes for, for men and women. You, when you know it's wrong, when you become an adult, it, dang, if you know, do Yeah, if you know better, do better. Yeah, yes. And even if you don't know, at some point you knew that abuse, that right. hate, right. that 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 that, that whatever you saw that wasn't right that made you feel uncomfortable. You know, damn well you shouldn't be doing that to your mate, your right. woman, your well, kids, your wife, whatever, your husband, whatever. Yeah. And also treat people how you want to be treated, like in general, like even if you. Yeah, but I want to, I want to expound on that. Just expound on the pastor. I want to. Yeah, really. Preaching today. I want to tell you something. Tell you something, tell you something, tell you something, something that my grandmother said to me when I was young, and one of the things she said to me was, she said, "Women will fall in love many times. Yes, sir. A man will fall in love once, mm. and when his heart is broken." He's really no more good. Man. Yeah, he's true. done. So I watch this. Right. There are men that didn't get their heart broken until they hit 30 or 40. Mm-hmm. And they're acting out from having their heart broken. Okay. Give you an example. My character gets his heart broken, so his attitude when he gets aggressive, it's acting out from the stemming of being right. heartbroken. See what I'm saying? And wow. not trusting. And when men don't trust, whether, you know, like he was saying, they go through, you go through stuff as a child, but men act out based upon pain, because they don't know how. They don't know other, no other way to do it. Athletes, they got a, they got something to go to. They can take that yeah. attention out in a football game, boxing, whatever. But when all that is that curtain closes, you never dealt with that situation. Wow. So now when you get into this relationship and you've retired, you don't know where to put those emotions. Here you guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Look, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hold on, hold on. And ladies and gentlemen, that was your Tony Grant profile moment. <laughs>
<laughs> brought to you by Hip Hop Weekly <laughs> and Curvy Girls Entertainment. That, 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 so yeah. one thing about you, Tony, you're not you're familiar <laughs> with the stage plays. Yeah. So for anybody else, was this your first time doing a stage play? Man, it's my first time. Yeah. How did it feel? Oh, what was your yeah. experience it's, like? Um, it's a great experience. Um, it's it's good. I like it a lot. It's, it's dope. Yeah. What techniques did you use when it came to this? Um, so like I said, my character is really just like me. But it's the I will say about stage plays, you really have to get a character. But since my character is so close to me, it's kind of <laughs> easy. But <laughs> but the thing is this though. But the thing is this though. You have to memorize so many lines. You know what I'm saying, and you have to like really like when, when you do your lines, your parts come after someone else says something. You know I'm saying, you have to just kind of it's really about memory and getting the character, which was really easy for me. So <laughs> so for both you guys, what do you guys think is the biggest um, difference between doing a stage play and uh, on screen movie. You asking anybody, anybody who has done it? Yeah. Okay, for me, it's the adrenaline rush. I oh, wow. I love stage plays are live, yeah. so mm-hmm. it's the adrenaline rush, mm-hmm. and I feed off of that. I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like for people to watch me because I'm like in front of the camera type person. I'm not behind. The you know what I'm saying? So I want to give them something to feel. <laughs> you need to feel me, so I'm gonna get in the character, and I want I want you to be say, oh, I can I can relate to Tiffany. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's the difference. Well, actually, you got to do that um um on screen uh, movie too. But this one, like I said, it's live. It's a live audience. Everybody is seeing your every moment. They are mm-hmm. seeing your facial expression. They're seeing all of that. So you got to come with it, mm-hmm. and and that's me. For me, yeah, the, the difference the difference in stage play and, and film is stage play you only get to do it once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And film, if you nail it right, you still may repeat it, mm-hmm. but you won't repeat it like you did it the first time. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? When you do a stage play, you do it once. Like she said, the adrenaline causes for and it forces you to be real. Mm-hmm. You hit it real, and then you convince the audience out there the same thing that that came from a real place. Mm-hmm. That Negro didn't just say that line because okay. it's in the script. Yeah. Right, yeah, that came from a real <laughs> place. Art imitates right. life. You can add labels as dog with stage plays, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, yeah. Tony and just you guys <laughs> seem like the vet. So, what kind of advice did you give the rest of the cast? None. I, I, I don't do that. Yeah, okay. I don't do that. No, you know what? To be honest with you, to be honest with you, I'm a stickler for for staying in my lane. Why? Right. Yeah. Okay. If, if Mrs. the writer, director, producer, Miss Adriana Williams, I'm gonna repeat that. If, if, I, don't, if I don't get that permission mm-hmm. from her, then I won't. Unless you come to me personally and say right, something. Yeah. But to to give that advice to an old. I, I stay in my lane. I stay. I try to remain as professional as possible. Yeah. That's why I continue to work. Amen. Which is very classy. Well, let me tell you something. After this, be my first day to play. My next one, I'm going to be in the given. Who needs advice? Okay? <laughs> okay? Let me know. I mean, you know, and, and I feel the same way. I kind of stay in my lane, too, because, you know, a lot of these cats, they get really, you know, touchy-feely about their work. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, yeah, they do. You know, like, I've been in, I've been in, in quite a few plays, and, um, even though that I've, I've done a lot of whatever, I, I still feel like there's still things to learn as well. Yeah, of course. And, and and still, I just will not. But I say I ask first, or if it's somebody that I really know, like I'm really cool with a couple of castmates. I'd be like, it, it was one of the castmates. I said, look, stop thinking so much. And I just told her, I said, stop thinking so hard because you're gonna become mechanical, and they everybody can look at you and say you're you're trying to. Same thing with singing too. Same thing. Stop mm-hmm. thinking so much. It's it's all the same thing. So that I said, I don't say we need to come in like this and do like that and grab your stomach and bend over backwards and nah. I'm just saying stop thinking, you know, and then let them give the actual directions because it's her vision or whoever. Yeah. Uh, their their stuff, you know what I mean. I'm so, just, what kind of each of you? What conversation did you have with Adriana before the play? Before we started rehearsals? How much I was hoping? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. About your character. Lucas point is like okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, for me, it, for me, it was Adriana. Whatever you need, whatever you need me to do to help out, whether it's our same background, whatever to make this thing work, I'm here. That's what. Whatever you need from. And that's dope seeing guys like him do that. You know what I mean? I've been in some plays where with a couple people, 
that they have some really big names. Not like your name's not big or nothing, but I'm That's just saying, just and they only, and I, <laughs> I'm saying not like it's not. I'm just saying it's yeah. just these cats. They stick to what they're gonna man. That ain't in my contract. This ain't in my right. contract. You right. know, right. you know, and we and it's and it's all for the good of all of us together. Because if it's messed up, they were like, oh man, he was in that. It was mm-hmm. horrible. Right. And yeah. I'm saying his name is 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 probably the biggest one, of the biggest on the thing. You know, it, it's a. You know whether it was the guy that has no name that sucked through the whole play, or it was it? It all falls on on everybody that has their name involved with the situation, from the from the money mm-hmm. down to the funny. Yeah. Right. You know? Now, sadly, this plays only for one day, which is this Saturday, the twenty eighth. So, tell the people why they should come out and see it. You're gonna get a great message. A, a tremendously, it, to me, it's a tremendous great message. Theater, the, the urban. I'm gonna watch this. The urban stage. Yes. Is a blessing for urban people. Yeah. Because you see somebody on stage that you know. And it's an opportunity for you to heal when mm-hmm. you're going through some things or somebody's gone through mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, I've had so many people say, man, good God, I, was, I know somebody like that. Or mm-hmm. you just played my uncle on stage. Right. Or I'm going to go home and apologize to my husband. Hey, brother, you know what you did on stage made me see how I was wrong. So it's a place of ministry and a place of messages. So for me, it's... It, you need to come and see this because every one of us have something. There's mm-hmm. something, especially this day and time with all this drama going on in the world. Mm-hmm. And we need a we need a place of release, a place where we them. can come together to really love on each other. Mm-hmm. And they should come on in 28 because I'm going to be there. Yeah, yeah right. That's, That's the main reason. Right. Yeah. You're going to get it's a, it's a, it's a, You're it's laughing, though. That's you're going to get crying. You're going to get, get, get tears. Yes. And you're going to get some great... Right. Right. Singing, right. music, yeah. and you're going to get some hood. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. All you guys are singing, or did you just play? I'm not all over. 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 Not really, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, and he's on two, though. I was on two. He was on two. He was on two. He was on two. I can't lie. <laughs> Okay. Just for your energy as a cast, I think people should definitely come out and see this. So thank yeah, you guys for sitting thank down you. with us. Thank, thank, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Saturday night, we all to performing arts center on the Georgia State campus downtown. You better come get your tickets now. And then brighter, go to the Georgia State uh, University website and get those tickets right now because they're selling fast. And look That's at right. this cast. They sell them fast. Look at the cash. Go drop the cash. Yeah, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, make sure you want to come out to Ed John Williams. Hit stage oh, play. Eddie May. Come on now. Hey, bring that baby. Come on. 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 Come on.